Hey, what's going on everybody? This is old Just Another Pool Tab coming at you, and I thought I would give a little review, or whatever you want to call it, um, on this digital microscope I bought. I bought it for $14 on eBay to try to help me out on identifying coins because my eyesight is not what it used to be whenever I started this. Because I'm getting old. But, you know, everybody's got to get old. Anyway, it's a 2M uh, uh, digital microscope. It's got different uh, light settings on it. So you can, you know, adjust your light. Here, I'll just show you right here. Adjust your light on the coins. Now, take for example this coin right here. It's a, everybody knows that. It's a wheat penny. The date, I can't see it. Can you? Let's put it on there in the microscope and see what we can see. It comes, you know, you plug it into your, it's a USB plug-in. And look at there. There is the date. 1910. This is what I just dug uh, last week. And the ground was really, really bad. So, 1910. So that's cool because I could not see it with my naked eye. So that is neat. Let's move on to some more coins. Okay, here we have a buffalo nickel. We all know this. You might be able to see the date. It's kind of worn though. Let's put it on the old microscope. Let's see what we can see. There's this. The head of the buffalo nickel. This one's worn too. 1928. 26. <laughs> it's pretty good though, man. Really good. And you can zoom in. They have a zoom in button. Right here and you can zoom in. There's two times. Three times, four times, five times, and six times. Really close, really clear, man. I, I, I'm so happy with it. Here's a uh, Roosevelt dime, 1953. You can see so much detail in this, man. I'm telling you, it's, it's unreal. It's going to help me out so much. Because my eyes, I'm so old now. <laughs> I can see it. Let's move on. We got one of my favorite coins. A, uh, th I bought this, but anyway. Uh, a Mercury Dime, which we all love to find. And there's a 1945 and this is this is good because we can see uh, maybe double die you know uh, different stamping errors and whatnot so good you know it helps me so much because I cannot see the dates and I love to see the dates when it came out of the ground the only thing I don't like about it is it comes on this little stand here and you can't adjust the height of it. So if you want to see the whole coin, you have to lift it up, which I'm trying to do and focus at the same time. Sorry guys, I know it's blurry. And there's what I paid for. But anyway, there's the whole coin. There we go. Anyway, you kind of have to lift it up. See how far I'm having to lift it up. That's the only drawback. It, ha it should have a, a taller stand so you can get the whole coin in. But this is really for like uh, if you're into soldering like microchips and whatnot. You have to get really close to it. 
I mean, I don't know if it's it's not really specified for coins, but still, it does a really good job. I mean, I mean, look at that. Really good, really good. So anyway, uh, y'all need to get this one. Anyway, I got it for fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollars on eBay. Uh, it's a two M a uh, thousand times zoom. Uh, digital microscope. It's very cool. Very cool. I mean, you can't complain about that. So go get one. Check it out. It's going to help you out if you're old as me. <laughs> Trust me, I'm old. All right, you guys. Uh, this is old, old, just another pool tab. Signing out. We'll check you later on the next one. Bye-bye.